Good morning, everyone. This is Sonia with Real Talk Radio here with the thought of the day for today, Thursday, June 11th. And we're now on the 45th entry of Sarah Young's Dear Jesus devotional. And here's her prayer for this entry. Dear Jesus, spending time in your company, keenly aware of your presence is utterly delightful. It's a foretaste of the eternal pleasures you have prepared for me. However, I confess that the dailiness of life tends to pull me down. My focus on routine duties tends to obscure my awareness of you. I want to enjoy your continual presence in all that I do. And here's the response she felt Jesus spoke to her heart. Beloved, wait in my presence while I reveal myself to you. Put aside thoughts of tasks awaiting you. As you focus pleasurably on me, allow awareness of my presence to become imprinted on your consciousness. Then move gently from this contemplative time into your routine duties. Refuse to view this part of your life as boring. Instead, continue communing with me, asking me to be vibrantly involved in your work. Having already connected with me at a deep level, you can find me more easily in the midst of your activities. Naturally, you will lose sight of me at times. I know you're only human, but you can reconnect readily by moving toward me in your thoughts, words, and feelings. The more you include me in your awareness, the brighter your day will be. Your routines will sparkle with the liveliness of my company. Okay, um, well, I think this is, you know, pretty self-contained and straightforward, but I do just kind of want to say that this idea of focus and keeping a conscious awareness on the Lord does seem to come up a lot in Sarah Young's devotional. And I think that might be because if you think about it, when we really care about someone, we will usually find that they are often on our minds a lot and in our thoughts throughout the day. And that even just the thought of them can often lift or brighten our mood. And in a sense, it's like we are never doing anything without that person. And so I think it might be very much, you know, kind of the same way with the Lord. In other words, if we make the effort to think about Him often and move toward Him in our thoughts, words, and feelings, then there is more of a chance that we can not only stay consciously aware of Him as we go about the daily routines of our day, but that we will also hopefully experience His presence with us in a greater and deeper way. And as the Lord was saying here, um, our day will become brighter and our routines will even sparkle with the brightness of His company. Okay, guys, I do want to be sure to share the thought of the day that I chose for us today before I close this morning. It's Psalm 130 verses 5 and 6 from the English Standard Version, which says, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in His word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning, more than watchmen for the morning. Okay, guys, I want to thank you as always for joining me. I do hope this has blessed you. I hope everyone has a wonderful day today. And I look forward to being back with you again tomorrow morning with another thought of the day.